YouTube, what it do, it's your boy Step. So I got a um, message from one of my loyal Patreon supporters, man. We're going to talk about this one right here. Check it out. All right. It's about shit tests. All right. Check it out. Yo, Steph, what it do? I'll just hit you up, man. Uh, for guys on Patreon that don't really know what, you know, situations are as far as, you know, when she's, you know, uh, playing those, you know, narcissistic mind games. I got a situation. Uh, this chick, I, we just smashed her a few times, you know, so this past weekend we went out, had a little dinner, went, you know, went to the movies and shit, you know, so afterwards, you know, we, we went to the bedroom. You know what goes down in the bedroom. Exactly. Okay, so while we in the bedroom, I'm seducing her and shit, well, you know, while she's shucking me off. I'm talking <laughs> about the situation, you know, getting up with as a bitch. She loving it. So fast forward to Tuesday. That was Sunday, that was Saturday night. Tuesday, she hit me up, and she was like, hey, I don't think it's going to work. We're just not compatible and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, cool. You guys that don't, in a sense, you know, for guys that don't really know what shit tests are, this is a shit test. I'm not chasing you. Just last week, you were asking me about a relationship, you know, and now you're saying that we're not compatible, you know, after, you know, I just probably gave you some of the best sex you've had in, in a while, you know, so. For guys that are struggling with the phrase, you know, shit test, this is the example of a shit test. She wants me to chase her, I'm not chasing her. If she doesn't hit me back, she won't hear from me again. And that, my friend, is an abundance mindset. Niggas on Patreon get it. They get it. What is a shit test, Steph, is called? A shit test is like any test. It's to see who you are. It's to see who you made of. And she will throw them subconsciously just to see who you are. In this situation like this, he dug out her guts. Made her bust. And now, what she wants him to do is chase her by using these words right here that I'm about to say right now. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this is going to work. Now, why is she saying this? Steph is cold. Why is she saying this? Venom, Venom, why is she saying this to me? Because she's getting you to tell on yourself. So what would the beta male do in this situation? <gasps> oh, baby! Oh, what do you mean it's not gonna work? What do you mean? What you mean it ain't gonna work, baby? This the beta male. What you mean it ain't gonna work, baby girl? What you mean it ain't gonna work? Oh, I wanna make it work. I wanna I wanna make it work. I wanna do everything that I can to make it work. You, we just had sex, we had a good time, we went to the movies, we ate good. What you mean this ain't gonna work? That's what she want. And then when she get that text from me, she gonna start smiling like, I got this nigga, I got him. Got him right in the palm of my hands where I want him. I don't want no relationship, cause guess what she doing? She selling your ass a dream. We ain't compatible. Now, since I'm telling him we ain't compatible, now he finna chase me like a bat. Like a man, I can't stand! Mother chase me! About to chase you. She, you about to chase her. That's what the beta cuck would do. That's what a guy with no abundance mindset would do. Chase her. Go up behind her. Come on, babe. Come on, we are compatible. Come on, let's give me one more chance. Give me one more chance, babe. Just one more chance. You know why she's doing that? Because you just dug out her guts like an alpha. You gave her that good digging stick. She, oh no, nah, I gotta really see if you really about this life. So let me let me throw some let me throw some of these narcissistic games on him, but to, to, to put the blame in his court just to see what he's made of. Then you bit the bait. Now she did it to you. It's bait. It's bait to get you falling in love with the love trap. Bait. And most guys fall for it. 
I did a Patreon exclusive video on my Patreon right now. Link is in the description. About a woman who said that 90, I did an interview with her. 95% of guys chase her and text her every other day asking her when can they go on another date. Asking her when can she hang out. 95%. So if you're watching this video and you're part of that 95, I hope this video wakes you up. Well, now how does the alpha respond? How does the guy with the abundance mindset respond? See, this is how the guy with the abundance mindset responds. All right, cool, for sure. That's it. That's it. She's going to be like, huh? You know why? Because you full of yourself. You just cocky, arrogant asshole that she loves. You was that when she first met you. But she really got to see if you that. After y'all have sex, you want to see. Man, let me see if I can reel this nigga in. So she say this shit test up to you. See if you she going to reel you in. And it don't work. She, oh my God. Oh, he is so sexy. It don't work. He's so cocky and arrogant. Oh my God. He's an asshole and he's sexy too. Jesus. Just makes me wet right here. All them other guys I see no shit test to, they fail, but he just, oh, he just passed with flying colors. I'm not saying that the woman's gonna be like, I'm about to shit test him. They subconsciously do this shit. The alpha would be like, the guy with the abundance mindset would be like, it's all good, man. You know, I enjoyed our time together and, and I wish you luck. Farewell. The abundance, the guy with the abundance mindset, the alpha would say, you know, oh, fair enough, that's fair enough. You know, I wish the best for you, farewell. Farewell. <laughs> she, oh my God. Now she come crawling back. And when she come crawling back, guess what we finna do? Dig stroke, dig stroke, dig stroke, till she motherfucking busts. Until she just can't take it no more. Women are always going to shit test you. Always. They always gonna shit test you. You gotta understand that about women, dude. They're always going to shit test you just to see who you are as a man. But you don't let that phase you. Because you're so cold, you know the game, you know the shit test coming. You just gotta be ready for it. You know the defense is going to commit. He opened in the corner. He got cash. He opened in the corner. He opened in the corner. Why would you not pass it? You know it's coming. You know he has to commit. She got to give you the shit test just to see if you're going to commit. We ain't going to commit, G. He got to the corner. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. That's how you pass the shit test. Don't give a fuck. But see, when you the beta, when you the guy with the scarcity mindset, you don't know what the fuck to do. You don't know what to do. It's the truth. It's the truth. One day you guys will get it, man. Gotta avoid shit tests like this. Gotta avoid the traps like this. It's a trap. It's a trap that she just wants you to fall for the trap. Don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't. Do it. Don't do it. Cause she gonna do it. She gonna run the same play on you every time. And guess what? If you leave her open every time, that's cash. Every time. And she gonna use them conniving words to just play with your head. The, the, the narcissistic words to put the blame on you, but you gotta be so cold. <laughs> this motherfucker trying to put the blame on me, G. I'm so cold, I know the game. 
When we, well, we're not compatible. This is just not going to work. Okay. All right. Well, I enjoyed our time. You have a good one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to suck your dick some more. That's it, fellas. It's that simple, man. See, escaping the matrix is simple, but it's never easy, G. Reverting from beta to alpha is simple, but it's never easy, G. Seeing the world from a red pill lens, you know what I'm saying? It's simple, but it's never easy, G. That's the video for today. If you're red pill, you know why. You understand. You understand that she's always changing. You gotta be ready for that change. And if you're blue pill, you don't know shit. Peace.